Okay, quick video on a dual intensity uh, brake tail light uh, that we made up uh, for the motorcycle, for well, for Connor's motorcycle and for mine as well. Uh, mine hasn't been installed yet, but it is a single LED strip with one positive, one negative, but provides tail and brake lights through the one circuit. And I'm going to show you how to make it uh, thanks to a friend of mine who's an electrical engineer, and he showed me this really, really simple circuit. And so I'm going to share it with you uh, back in a second. Okay, so this is what the little circuit looks like. This one's not cleaned up. Uh, I just left everything the regular length uh, and just soldered a couple together so you'd look, see what it looked like. And I'll show you the, what the connections are before I go any further. Do, do, do. So this is positive out. This end would be positive out to your LED strip. Check your LED strip or LED tail light, whatever. It might. It doesn't have to be a strip. It can be an LED single LED bulb. Either way, this will provide dual intensity to an LED bulb or LED strip. Um, my buddy said don't use this on regular bulbs. Uh, he said there's a way to modify it for regular bulbs. I don't know what that is. I didn't care. I was using an LED strip anyway. Um, I can ask him. I'll figure out. You know, if anybody really wants to know that for a regular light bulb, I'll find out from him. But he said this is this is for LED only. Don't try this with uh, regular bulbs. And again, I don't know why. Anyway, this is uh, this end is the positive out to uh, the LED strip or bulb you're going to be using. This end, this end with the two little uh, electrical connectors on it. Um, it's got a a. Um, a resistor and a diode. Um, I'll put the parts numbers down in the description uh, exactly as he gave them to me and uh, anyway I'll explain how it works. Uh, this is the tail light. The tail light power comes in you know coming in from wherever your tail light circuit is and flows through this little diode here and this diode's got a silver end which has got a face toward uh, the brake light has to the little silver end. You know, let me show you See, there's a little silver line on the top, and he said the silver line's always got to be facing away from um, from the direction the power is flowing. So the power flo flows into the black end and out of the silver end. And then, since this is the tail light, it's going through a resistor. This one's five or five hundred ohms, I think, or six hundred ohm, six hundred ohm resistor. Or, no, five forty. This is a five forty ohm resistor, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember. I think it's five forty. Uh, doesn't really matter. Resistance is resistance. Um, um, he said between five and six hundred for the six LED tail light strip I was using. Um, I don't know. It might be different for depending on how many LEDs are in your strip. I'm not 100% sure. But he said if it wasn't enough, I could add another one uh, into here. I could add a second resistor in there, just in line with this this one. Uh, just put two instead of one, and it would uh, put more resistance in there. Anyway, uh, so the power comes in through the tail light. Through this diode which doesn't allow power to flow back. It allows it to go only one way. It's like a little valve. Through the resistor and then out this end. Again this diode, there's a diode on that side so power can't flow back through that one into the to the other circuit. So it's only can go, it can only go this direction. So the power is reduced due to the resistor. So there's not full power when that brake light or tail light is on. It's not 100% full 12 volt power going to the brake light. This resistor uh, puts some resistance in the line and doesn't allow full power out, uh, full output power. So this one is attached to the brake light positive that would have gone back to your brake light regular. Tail light positive, brake light positive. Um, so the brake light positive comes in through this little resistor. Again, power can't flow back past these two little black resistors. It can only go in the one direction. And it flows out into, again, the same wire that's hooked up to the, to the LED strip. And it basically adds the power, uh, the rest of the power that this resistor took off. And it adds the full power, which makes it brighter um, and makes the brake light shine. So that's basically all it is. The rest of the LED, the other, uh, the the negative side of the LED uh, strip was just grounded. It's grounded normally uh, to the chassis, chassis ground, and the positive wire hooks to this end. Again, tail light, brake light, uh, very simple diode, diode um, resistor. And again, if you wanted a, a bigger difference between uh, the regular. Uh, tail light and the brake light, you just add another resistor. I guess you could add a higher uh, 
a higher ohm resistor. Again, this one is, I think, 5 something. I can't remember what it is. Um, but I'll put it in the description. Um, and I'll put the, in the description the, the little part number of those diodes, which is very simple to get. I just went to a uh, Sayall Electronics. I don't know if there's Sayall Electronics in other places, but that's where I went to. And it was a buck for this set of resistors and a buck for this set of diodes. So two bucks to make like seven or eight of them. Uh, I think that's all I can tell you. Um, I don't know a hell of a lot about this stuff. Uh, if you have any questions on it, I can answer most of it, I hope. But if I can't, I'll forward them to my buddy and he can tell me for sure uh, any different, uh, any questions you might have or maybe even how to make it in for a regular, uh, a regular incandescent bulb or maybe fluorescent or whatever. But uh, he did say don't try this on anything other than an LED bulb. Not sure why, maybe the resistance may overheat, I don't know. But anyway, uh, that's the circuit. Thanks for watching.